All right, you guys, what is going on? Jesse's here. Good to see you, bro. Good to see you, Marcus. This is, uh, this is a much more exciting morning for you than it is for me, <laughs> but it's still very exciting for me. Yeah. Um, what are we doing today? We're picking up my brand new 720S. Ordered it five months ago, five or six months ago. We okay. waited for a long time. Yeah, I know, because I saw on your Instagram story over the last few months, you've been posting, you know, like, oh, what color should I get and all this stuff. Exactly. Um, so yeah, you guys will be able to see a little bit into the process of actually, like, the day of picking up a supercar that, you know, Jess has been waiting, you know, five or six months for. Yeah. All right, you guys, let's get to it. So we counted, I think one of the nights that came down, uh, there might be more, but I counted 13 Ferraris and 11 Lambos and zero McLarens, okay? So that's about to change today. And hopefully what I'm trying to do is once a McLaren, I mean, once a Ferrari and Lambo owners see a McLaren 720S, we'll convert them all to uh, McLaren owners, so. <laughs> for those of you who don't know, obviously Vancouver is kind of known for its supercar culture um, and massive amounts of money that are like in this city. But I'm from the suburbs, right? So when I when I come into Vancouver, it's still quite a shock. Yeah, to see, you know, Aston, we've got 458 over there as well, S550, right? <laughs> an average an average day, he says. At Trump, Vancouver. Yeah. I'm glad we did this first though, honestly. I know, right? Because it really does, like the 720S is kind of on another level. I mean, the SV is close. That's the only one down there that I think is like... Well, the SV is a million bucks, or Canadian. It's like, yeah. like 600,000. US. Yeah, exactly. So that's a completely different price bracket, so we can't even compare the two. No, yeah, no, they are very different cars. Alright, you guys, that was my first experience in a Rolls Royce. The ghost. <laughs> and it's a beautiful color. It's a beautiful color. Perfect. Thank you very much. Appreciate that. Jesse, how does it feel? Dude. How does it feel? Like everybody's here, every like even for us, even for the people around, it's just super exciting to like see a supercar fresh off the line. Exactly. Well, I mean I don't take days like these for granted. I was just saying, um, you know, I'm just very fortunate to be in this situation and I don't take all this for granted. I'm really humbled by the fact that, you know, I can pick up such a beautiful car. Yeah. And, you know, I'm going to enjoy it to the fullest. Absolutely, dude. I can appreciate that. That's good. I like that. Hold up. How's it going? Hey, heard a lot about you. Adam Marcus. Finnegan. Good to meet you. Yeah, you too. And this is Burton Blue, an MSO color. Ooh. <laughs> MSO. Look, look, look at that in sunlight over there by the window. It's yeah. this one, I think. Really? Yeah, yeah. This is the the, um, the cheaper one. This is Elite, and this is MSO colored. So. I'm just going to help you take over. This isn't a work day for you, Jesse. Yeah, <laughs> this is a day off. <laughs> okay, let's do it. Damn! Oh. Yo, I'm getting emotional right now, man. The wait's over. Dude, this I, is it. <laughs> dude, I don't know if I deserve this. I'm sure you'll convince yourself very quickly once you're actually in the wheel. Alright, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Driving it. Yeah, if Sal Monja can fit in this thing, my wife can. Like this? Let's go. Bye, Yummy. I miss you. See ya. <laughs> Practical, Practical, dude. Yeah, I can just put my wife in front. Yeah, I'll take the shotgun okay, if you don't wait, mind. Okay, so now how do I open it? I mean, it's pretty much your new home, to be I honest. I know, right? No, I'm going to live here, man. This guy, Adam, Adam Finnegan, okay, this guy made it happen. I'm, I'm serious, when I first came in, I wasn't so sure I was gonna get the 720, but you know, what sold me this car is not only this car, but you know, this guy, he's not only a salesperson now, he's my friend, my bro, and he's 
I've bought many cars in the past, I've never had an experience like this. He made me so comfortable, he never pressured me, and he did everything that I wanted him to do and more. So if you want a McLaren in the Vancouver area, or in Alberta, or wherever, just call up uh, McLaren Vancouver and get my man Adam Finnegan to shop. So, yeah. Thank you, man. There's a period that I was considering the Performante and the 488. Right, yeah. Um, I wasn't 100% sure I was gonna go with the 720S, but then Adam told me to go for a test drive. He took me out, you know. That's cool, that's cool. I drove it to UBC, came back, I ran to the bank, and uh, <laughs> no, that's literally what happened, right? I told you, I was like, I'm not sure. Yeah, I was like, you know what? I'll wait for a few months, and then Adam's like, oh, you know, let's take it out for a test drive. <laughs> I texted him like 20 minutes later, like, here's my bank draft, here's yeah. my certified check, you know, I want that car. Yeah, yeah so the, the regular 720 wheel, which is already super light, these wheels are 24 pounds lighter per wheel. Yeah, that's so ridiculous. I, I can lift it's up that wheel with one hand. Yeah. Yeah, it doesn't even feel real. It feels like I'm in a video game right now, you know, I just got all my virtual coins, you know, and... <laughs> Virtual coins? Where do you get me some of those virtual coins, know, Jesse? Right? I my virtual coins. I don't know. I was actually like, I forgot which game it was. I was like, I'm going to buy this game and then try and get the 720. Yeah. But it's like, a, it's like level 7. You got to play for like two yeah, days yeah, yeah. before you can get it. So. Yeah. What do you say? Do we do a MR2 versus 720S Let's do video? It. Let's drag race, bro. <laughs> Let's do it. All right. We'll do like a 60 foot drag race. Yeah. That'll be it. Yeah. Hey guys, look, I know the channel basically has been built on like JDM, Japanese cars, big turbo stuff. Um, and some of you guys might not care about a 720S, um, but supercar, there's something about supercars and like the engineering and like the 720S is pretty much the pinnacle of a street supercar right now. Yeah. It's, it's if not like, you know, top three. Uh, so that's why I wanted to come out when, you know, when Jesse invites you out to <laughs> take yeah. delivery of a 720. You don't say no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Marcus is a great YouTuber, so. Thanks, bro, I appreciate that. And I'm actually gonna start my YouTube channel, too, so. Marcus actually, is, yes, absolutely, yeah. He's gonna show me the ropes. So. Yeah, so definitely look out for stuff. Uh, Jesse and I will definitely be shooting some more stuff in the future. If you guys haven't seen uh, S63 video, i8 video, and Raptor video, yeah. which was sweet. Stay tuned for more YouTube videos to come, and Marcus is gonna be on the channel a lot because this is the guy that, you know, I'm gonna learn from. I wanna be, I wanna be like you one day, bro. <laughs> well, <laughs> and I want to be like you one day. <laughs> no, it's gonna happen. Man. Living the McLaren life. So I mean, this is you're looking at basically the evolution of McLaren. So this is obviously a 12C, the first road car that McLaren came out with since the F1, um, and then this is the first car on the new platform. So this first car on the old platform, first car on the new platform. So it's very cool to see. I mean. The amount of engineering and development that has come through McLaren in the last few years is absolutely ridiculous. Okay, for a break in here for first thousand kilometers, I was like, Oh, I thought they're pre broken into. He's like, Yeah, okay, from but they still yeah. say from factory. Oh, really? For the first they thousand are, yeah. kilometers, the break in period, you gotta drive it hard. Really? <laughs> Have first you ever thousand, heard that before? Uh, well, I've, I've heard it like from other people, never from a manufacturer, though. Yeah, yeah. well, that's not manufactured indoors. Um, okay, but, yeah. But over yeah. periods of time where we've seen a lot of our buyers that get out, they drive their cars, they take them to the track. Uh, Way better long term results. <laughs> so wow. yeah, actually, that's you cool. just don't want to redline the shit out of it and treat it like you treat a car that's not yours, right? Yeah. So yeah, that's really course. it. But yeah, 6,000, 7,000. She's like, drive it hard. <laughs> wow, that's not hard to do. Or maybe it is. It's 800 horsepower to the rear wheel. Yeah, that's a lot. Is this, yeah. this is the most powerful car you've ever owned? Oh, uh, yeah, by correct? far. Yeah. yeah, I think the S63 Coupe is 577. Yeah. Currently, out of 
Well, the Pistas seem to be doing really good times, but I haven't been following it. But yeah. that's the only other car for, especially in that price point, that's actually doing these numbers right now. Yeah, Unless yeah, no kind of jumping up into million plus cars, right? So. Exactly. Thanks for coming by today. Good to meet you, Adam. Thanks for uh, really letting me good film. To meet you, man. Yeah, did I get you one of my cards? This is the moment. <laughs> <laughs> guys are hopping in. All right, you guys, what is going on? We are here in a Land Rover, well, I guess Range Rover Velar. Is that how you pronounce yeah, it? Velar. Velar, okay, so we're here with Mark, by the way, this is Mark. Yeah. Uh, Van City Motorsports. Um, so back in when we were in LA, uh, Midway Car Rentals gave us the option between a G63 AMG for a day or this, the Velar, and I was very tempted to take this just because, you know, it's brand new. Fresh on the market, very exciting, you know. Um, but we ended up taking the G63. Yeah. It's a little bit more baller, you know. It's a different level than this car, right? It is. It is. Two steps above this car, right? And yeah. Like... Literally, too. It's two yeah. more cylinders. <laughs> yeah, two more cylinders. You know, I think it has more presence than this car, too. But that being said, uh, the interior in this car is way better. <laughs> I, lot, I think so. It's a pretty comfortable car, right? This one comes with massage seats, heated and vent, heated and cooled seats. Really? It really rides really smooth compared to a lot of other SUVs in this sector. Yeah, um, yeah. No, it is It is very cool. It's interesting that Range Rover is able to come out with something like this as well as the Evoque. Yeah. You know? And they're different enough. And I feel like the direct competitor of this would be like an AMG, uh, the GL. Uh, the GLC, GLC, the GLC 63, yeah, which obviously has more horsepower than this. Yeah, I don't get to get into uh, SUVs very often, but uh, when I do, it's a treat. Especially, you know, like you were saying downtown, like yeah. plenty of power. Oh yeah, <laughs> you don't honestly, you don't need more than like 200 horsepower downtown. Yeah, yeah. but and uh, the supercharger whale. Can you hear the supercharger? Yeah, you can hear. Oh, it. Oh, sick! Yeah. That's dope. Hey man, well thanks uh, thanks for the ride. Absolutely, yeah. Appreciate it. We're gonna go cruise over to West Van. Uh, I'm gonna get the MR2. It's down in the underground right now amongst like 488s and shit that it doesn't belong with. <laughs> I'm crashing down and rising up but always seem to fall behind mm. And all the lights and all the tunnels faded out and left me blind All right, you guys, we've arrived. Park Royal, right in the heart of uh, West Vancouver. How was the how's the first like few kilometers in traffic? It, it, it doesn't even feel real, but in traffic, you know, it feels just like a regular car. It's very quiet. It's very easy to drive. Yeah, it's just like a regular car. Do you That's... see that guy that was like stepping into the road to take a picture of you? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, I'm gonna have to get used to that because yeah. you know, even with the S63 Coupe, I've always had cars that don't draw a whole lot of attention. Yeah, I mean the i8 is definitely one yeah, that does draw I8, some yeah, attention. It, it yeah. does draw attention, but for a car like this, you know, when we were parking, um, people are just coming up and taking pictures of it, you know. You know, I appreciate that. Dude. Yeah, you gotta like share the love. Yeah. You know, you're gonna get a lot of kids probably at gas stations and yeah. stuff, you know, coming up to you. Hey, yeah. can I take a picture? I'd be happy to talk to them, because I was that kid a few years ago, right? 100%, so, yeah. Yeah, and this is I'd my like wife ride. and my and our daughter. kid, <laughs> I love it. Evie. Say hi, Evie. Hi, Evie. Hi, hi, everyone. I don't know, she liked this or the yeah. IA better. <laughs> no, I'm pretty sure Evie likes this. Yes, yeah. Yeah, exactly. You're going to tell Evie what she likes better. Yeah. <laughs> and you actually have like a decent amount, I mean, I say luggage space, yeah. but there is actually, you know, you can put a bag or yeah, two. Yeah, you can put a bag. Can I sit in it real of quick? Of course. Oh, thanks, dude. All right, here we go. Ass in first. Yeah. It's easier to get into than the i8. Oh yeah. It's lower yeah. Wow, this is cool. Oh yeah, I don't know if you've seen this, but it's usually not like this. This is in track. Oh yeah, of course. Yeah, so it just shows like the, the revs and the uh, speedo so let's, and stuff. Let's actually start it up. So. Yeah, let's do that, please. I step on the brick. Oh yeah. See, like I was saying, guys, this is the this being the first model of the new the new McLaren lineup. It's got a completely new interior and everything. Now, if you get into a 650S, like I drove one over at Sonoma Raceway like a year ago in September, it's completely different. That car feels a little bit dated now, whereas this is like they've completely redesigned the interior. Um, We're just 
gonna do some photos, and then we're gonna wrap up. I'm gonna head back to White Rock, edit a few videos, a uh, bunch of stuff coming out on the channel. We got JDM stuff, we got Euro stuff, American stuff, and of course, the supercars, which I wanna do more supercar content. Um, not necessarily all the time, because opportunities like this don't happen all the time. But when I can, I will definitely, uh, you know, come out to explore West Vancouver, and uh, Vancouver in general, and the supercar culture out here, so. radar gun picked up someone going 100. He's not sure that it, it was, was him. him. <laughs> I was waiting for Marcus to pull up, so I was going. Well, that's what I was about to do. I was yeah. looking at it. I was like, yeah. I was going 60 the whole time. So he's, he's like, okay, my radar, my my speed gun picked up someone going 100. I'm pretty sure it was you. <laughs> <laughs> well, well for first pull over, you? over and done with, you know. I know. He's he's like, do you need a partner? You yeah, yeah, he's like, do you need a partner? <laughs> yeah, a partner with the law. You yeah. just let us speed and then exactly. Yeah, <laughs> we'll pay you. Alright Jesse, thanks for having me out. Alright, thanks, thanks for having me out. Thanks a lot and um, it's, oh, remember to follow me on Instagram man. and there's going to be lots of nice YouTube videos that I'm going to start making with Marcus and, and Yeah, uh, yeah. First few, whatever you want to do, we'll like collab and then I'll show you some tricks. Exactly. Maybe show you how to use a glide cam and whatnot, get some sweet shots. Yeah. Uh, and then yeah, definitely subscribe to Jesse's channel and like I said before, this will not be the last time you see this car. You know, I'm not the type that would park the car in the garage. I, I drive it, so. I like it. I like it. Awesome. Well, thanks, Jesse, again. You have a good drive, and we will see you guys very soon.